It's your boy A1 from Stars Gaming. We out here making mad at moves. Oh, man, in this video, I'm going to break down pretty much how to, Sunday, Sunday, how to attack cover three. And I feel like the best way to attack cover three is coming out in straight up five wide. Um, if you got a guy that's let's just stay in cover three and it's just annoying you. And you're waiting for your big shot. Well, my suggestion is not to come out in trips. Not to come out in two by two. Gum bunch. Uh, my suggestion is to attack the seams. Uh, if I'm coaching you up and running a spread offense, I'm coaching you up to attack the seams when when attacking cover three. And because there's soft spots in the zone that they're not going to be able to take care of when they have five guys running downfield uh, verticals. But there's one adjustment you need to make, and that adjustment is to the hey, 43, 43, wide receiver, which is Watkins. Now, what you want to do here is real simple, okay? Um, there's a couple things you can, you can have. A, go around to bring that outside linebacker downhill pretty quick to occupy him. Or you can keep him where he's at. So let's take two looks at it. Let's look at it. Is everybody going down so five wide? And this is how you break down and attack cover three. Right down the seams. You want to throw that. You want to lean that inside. So what, you, what I'm doing is I'm taking the left analog stick. I'm putting it down towards the bottom right corner. Uh, like if you're pointing towards, like, let's just say... Um, five o'clock. Like I'm putting it down there. I'm stepping into my throw and I'm angling it down low. I would even try recommending low balling it if necessary. Low balling is um, L. That means you're throwing the ball down low. So this is a low ball right here. A low ball right there. Plus holding on to R is going to make sure you get the ball down low. Uh, let's take a look at that one more time so you guys can check it out and see again. This is attack and cover three. Very important, very typical coverage you see in Madden of the basics and the bots. Right here, we're stepping in. We're pressing L and R, and we're throwing it low. So he's the only receiver. Is he's the only one that can catch it. Nobody here can get the ball. He gets past the linebacker. He just want to throw it low. Make sure he gets the ball. No problem. Uh, one thing I will recommend is that this. Uh, I don't recommend throwing the low ball when you are seeing somebody underneath. If you're seeing someone over top, okay. But we, like in this type of situation right here, I don't recommend throwing a low ball. So let's just take a look at it and see what happens. This time we don't have five guys going deep. We have one guy going underneath to one of the uh, the sides of the seam routes. So let's check it out. He caught it. I don't like doing it, but it'll be there just because Mahomes pretty elite. Let's do it again. This time we're not going to low ball, though. We're just going to throw it. Uh, for the most part, it's accurate. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to it's gonna get there. Same thing. We're attacking the seams. We're attacking the seams. We're attacking the seams. He dropped it right there. That was the first time he dropped it in the past, like, three minutes. So it's like, it's not bad. And it's very important to use the L and R trigger when you're throwing the ball just because of the fact you want to make sure you get that pinpoint accuracy. Uh, it takes a lot of time during practice mode to get those kind of things in. You're pressing L, R, L and R. You're leading that pass um, down the steam route. And you're getting big time throws, especially with big time quarterbacks. Even right there was a pretty close throw. Now let's check the other side to the right side of the field. Now when you're attacking cover three, when you see the safety come down that side, it's, it gives you a sign, kind of a warning, uh, should I throw it or should I not throw it because of the safety being down low. He's going to play pretty better coverage. Whenever you have a DB playing like the outside coverage, he's going to play uh, way better than a linebacker. So let's test it out. I don't like throwing it to that right side because you're most likely going to get the user on the, on the left side probably because there's less people over there. But the right side, you got to learn how to attack that too as well. And you really got to like... You really got to thread that needle in there. Um, I don't recommend throwing that low ball when that, that user's over there. That's a no-go. Um, this is a low ball right here. Oh, you got a hold of us right there. Still one more time. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, Casey. You want to be practice player of the year. I see you, big dog. That was an accurate throw again. That's Patrick Mahomes throwing that thing. So make sure you have a elite quarterback to make those throws. Yeah, I don't recommend throwing it. You can try attacking it deep. It's pretty tough. Um, so looking at the deep ball in it, we'll attack wide first. 
I mean, really, it's tough. Like, you're not going to get that deep ball in cover three. I don't suggest it. Like, if you throw a pass, like, there's the, a little pinpoint. So the pinpoint area is right between, like, the 50 and the 40 where you want to hit that, where you want to try to, like, throw that ball. Once they get there, like, 50, 40, um, then you can kind of throw it the right side, not as much because they have more better coverage than that. But the left side, the left side once they get to that 50, Pretty much have a pretty a pretty good shot at making like a quick like 20 yard pop uh, throwing ball Why? and a 20 yard seam route popping them right there that's that takes the air out of a defense I don't care what no one says it gets some momentum rolling on defense again attacking deep it doesn't look so um it doesn't look well at all I don't like it there's a little trick that you can do which is this right here uh, with that outside guy. And then he like kind of well, he might occupy that uh, the left side of the receiver, the right. I mean the right cornerback. I still don't recommend it honestly because he's not gonna go get it. He's not. He really isn't. Even like this, he's always gonna play over top of that. We got lucky right there. For the most part, he's gonna play over top of that that cornerback. So. Just be mindful. Let's run a couple more. Let's go three left Yellow. and then three right. Go back to back real quick. We'll hit Y right here. Low ball this mess. Just get down low. Get down low. Attack that seam. 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 That's all I gotta say is attack the seam. The only way to get good at this is coming here right now and grinding practice mode. Attack the seam and coming through. When you see one safety up top high, you wanna attack that seam. He made a good play right there. Let's check the other side, though. Let's check the other Yellow. side, though. Again, we could try doing this. This usually works when it comes to occupying. Um, sometimes. I'll see. No, check that. Keep it, keep it basic. I don't like throwing those, but you can thread it there. If you got the quarterback, you can thread it there easier than you would uh, um, like any other guy. Right there, you see, it's a tough ball to throw on the right side where the DB's at. But again, you got to be able to throw both sides, man, I'm telling you. Um, but that's attacking cover three. That's attacking cover three right there, attacking the seams. When you are attacking cover three, I recommend coming out of five wide. Uh, your boy when is out hit the subscribe follow us you see the link you know what time it is late late